Hey everybody, today's topic is going to be how to make a candlestick on the wheel. I'm starting off by showing you these sketches because a lot of times candlesticks on the wheel end up looking like this example where there's a cup on top and then various levels. Um, but know that you can do a little more than that. Also, a lot of the beauty can be exposed during the trimming process. So I'm going to throw a candlestick for you today and trim it. Uh, I think that um, this is more of what I'm going for personally, but you don't want to create too much thickness uh, since these are solid. All right, so let's begin. I'm gonna start out with a small piece of clay. Putting it here in the middle of the wheel head. As always, I'm going to start by pressing the clay down. Then I'm going to bring my hands together to bring it up. Right now, I'm just going to comb for a few times to condition the clay to be made into a candlestick. Right, one more time. Up. Then down. And make sure the clay is centered. Gonna press gently on it and make sure it's uh, have any crazy wobbles to it. Now this process uh, <laughs> does not always produce a perfectly uh, symmetrical, excuse me, a perfectly um, centered piece, but it's good to start out as centered as possible. So the first thing I'm gonna do after coning and centering is I'm gonna bring the clay up into a very high cone. Gonna apply pressure in the bottom and then move my hands up with the clay and gently release. What I'm gonna do with the top here is I'm gonna throw a small cup. Make this cup deeper than you think. You don't want, if you're using tall candlesticks, they fall over quite easily. Make, make, um, sink this down a, a, an inch or, or more drop the hole and I'm going to kind of pull it open doing a little bit of a pull here almost like um, throwing off the hump So I made like a little cup on top, now I'm shaping it. 
what I'm gonna do is um, bring it in a bit. And flare out the top. Now what I'm going to do is just pinch underneath the cup to bring this in. If it starts sticking to your hand, just add a little water. That's uh, kind of the last thing you want it to start doing. Move this in a bit. So I have the cup on top. You want to work from top to bottom. So I have the cup here and now I can start to work on the lower sections. And that just depends on your design. The one thing you want to keep in mind, no matter what your design is, is that you need to brace and stabilize the top as you create the lower parts. If you don't, the top often starts spinning, spiraling out and falling over. So. I usually use both hands together. I'll use one hand to hold top and stabilize it as I, as I pinch and squeeze the bottom part. So I'm gonna pinch here and here to create two bumps. And then I'm gonna have um, just a kind of a slope section and then another couple of bumps in the bottom. So I'll show you that. So I'm holding, I'm supporting the top and I'm gonna squeeze. And remember, if, if the clay is drying out, don't fight with it. Just get some water and rehydrate. So I'm squeezing that. going to take this section and, and squeeze the whole thing. As you squeeze it, it will move up a lot like coning, but again, you just want to mind that you're keeping the top stable. And at any sign of resistance, just let go and rehydrate. gonna um, dribble some water down the side here just to get the whole thing a little more damp. So I'm squeezing this I'm coming up and trying to bring it higher. And remember, you don't have to do everything right now. Trimming is your friend. If I want this to be more of a bell shape here, I can trim that clay away when this is more dry, which is uh, exactly what I'm gonna do. Um, but before I do that, I am gonna give it another undercut down on the bottom here, maybe around. And remember, I'm still supporting the top here. And I'm gonna squeeze here. Part's dangerous.
Let's see if I can bring this all up a little higher. It's drying out a bit. Increase and decrease pressure gradually and you, you'll stay out of trouble. Let's see, the base we were planning on, small, okay. I might, it might be safer for me to just trim out uh, this entire base. I'm gonna do that <laughs> to err on caution. So for right now, I'm gonna take a rib and just clean up the base. Okay, so that's it for now. Let's leave this, this alone for a few hours, uh, maybe 24 hours and I will come back to it and we'll get trimming. Okay, the candlestick has set up somewhat and I'm gonna take this uh, Mud Tools trimming do-all tool to, to basically give it a little more of an angular shape. I don't need to do any extreme changes, but you could. This is um, a little bit damper and I'd like to work with, but I should still be able to, to make some changes, okay? Start with up here. Now, this whole part is hollow, so I can't um, do too much. This is still really wet. By the way, I'm, um, I'm looking down and referencing that uh, original drawing, but it's quite different, um, but it's inspiration. For example, it, it's much more narrow here and much wider down here, so I'm going to go ahead and carve that in.
bit shocked to hear Blue Jays instead of ambient light sirens, but it's cool. the transition here.
So, <clears throat> the clay's still soft enough for me to smooth it with my hand. Again, I'm just um, still using my reference drawing and just continuing to subtract. Well, also I wanna leave the base wide and I can trim underneath it in the future when it's a little more dry. Right. Just getting there. I got very thin here. Not a bad thing. Just um, have to be careful. Uh, because the torque, I apply pressure above that can kind of twist this. And again, it would be much easier if the clay were leather hard. It's like a still pretty wet. I think that's pretty good. So now I'm going to just um, 
smooth down some of it with my finger. And I'm kind of avoiding the top. I put a piece of plastic over it and it's really too wet to be handling. Just gonna kind of push that grog back in. Also use a rib for this. Okay, turn it off. My wire tool. That's it, you have your um, your candlestick. When it's uh, leather hard, I'll probably put it in some extreme chuck that I throw and, and uh, clean up the bottom. Or if you are uncomfortable doing that, you could, you could uh, manually, manually trim it out or just kind of smooth the bottom edge. It's good for it to have a little weight anyway. It's going to be holding a, a candle on top. Alrighty, that's it for now.